Welcome, Tornish. So it's been a while, but I decided to give a little bit of an update on kind of what I've been doing in the game and other things. And I have to say, I've been mostly messing about the arena, trying to understand how to play against certain builds that are a lot, you know, more prominent in the in the play space. Uh, I would have to say, with this build, I'm doing more of a strength faith build with a lot of pyromancy, as I've been testing out. So here, I'm at, I'm at level 200. I won't lie, I did watch a lot of videos with Saint Riot and uh, other people playing at level 200, and it seems like it's a very fun bracket. Honestly, you can evade a little lower a bit a little higher, get matched with people around that area. I found that, you know, 125 was a bit too restrictive for me, how I wanted to play. It's a bit too, I would say, very difficult in the terms of if you make a mistake, you get punished and you lose a lot, a lot of health, like for making a small mistake. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I just, I'm not like super, super good at the game. I'll just admit that, honestly. But besides that, level 200 seems really fun. I have to unlock the rest of the map on this character because i started some new save files so for this build what i'm doing here is i'm using a mix of assortment of weapons honestly just to try out which ones i like so far i've been sticking with malekith's black blade uh or Ordo great sword and this y hander those have been my go-to's but sometimes i pull out the heavy great stars which i have the uh stamp sweep on it because it gives you a good amount of hyper armor i would say it's the best one but the stamp abilities could be good, especially if people want to challenge you with like lighter weapons or whatnot. Stamp sweep is really good if you have more than one person on you. Get the hyper armor, go in there. I mean, I already have 42 poise, so that's pretty decent. But so far, my favorite to be using is the Malekith's Black Blade because I really, really like the aesthetic of the sword. The Ash of War itself is cool. I wouldn't say it's like super overpowered unless I'm building more into faith, but I'm mostly strength in this build. <clears throat> Alright, cool. Oh, dang, already. Oh my god, my man's going in with red lightning already. So it seems like we're fighting two light rollers here. Two faith builds? Yeah, he's a coil sword, right? Really, I really have noticed that I really want to trade a lot with this, this after No, we're not doing all, we're not doing that in here. We're not doing it. <laughs> oh, oh God. Oh, Jesus. This guy like hits as hard as my Zeus build. It's kind of funny. I did take Zeus into the arena. Um, but honestly, it's it's okay. It's not the best build. I've been like trying to practice a lot on parries too. Oh God, light rolling. No, maybe not. Oh man. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to go for the Ash of War, but I forgot my shield out. I've been getting used to running an offhand buckler. Yeah. Honestly, running with an ultra weapon in this meta of poke weapons, it's taught me a lot how to space properly. Stuff like that. I mean, it's it's a little difficult to space on the ring, I feel like, compared to Dark Souls 3. But I still manage it, so it's not a big deal. Oh, shit. No, we're not doing this. All right, got him. Oh, I hit him. Awesome.
Oh, what? Oh, what? <laughs> a little late on that, man. I should just went for the R2. I do, do you notice one thing about me is like I'm not used to jump attacking, you know? But I've been definitely getting more into the groove of doing that. I really love that ability. Dang, man. Oh yeah, that jump attack roll catch is so good. That's something that I did pick up on, I see other people doing. Oh, that's not good. I should've got punished for that, honestly. I'm about to. Oh, oh no, my, my mans! Oh, I tried to roll that a little late. Dang, man. <laughs> Do you have a good look at my stats again? I'm not, this is not the, probably not the like most optimized, but that's what I've been messing with. I ready to go with this guy, I guess. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn, that hurts. It's a pretty long range, too. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. I'm in danger. Damn. Didn't expect the jump attack. That's that Radagon's Ring of Light. Is that what it is? That's whoo, that's dangerous. See if I can get a parry off on this guy. Unless he's gonna jump attack spam me. I don't know what I mean, we had the same idea, right? I need to get a, get a heal off here, man. Oh man, they're going with a full support build too. That's crazy. That's cool. That's cool. Oh my god. That fast ass casting speed, man. Watch out, brother. No. No. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, valiant effort, man. You gotta practice. I understand. Rip. What? Oh, wait. What? Hello? Oh, I'm out of FP. I forgot. No, that have been perfect. Hell yeah, that's a lot of damage. Get some FP back. I don't actually don't mind fighting this faith build. Like that Elden Stars is gonna really hurt. Guess he got the burn on him though, right? Okay. This guy's left alive. Like that hit me and I didn't expect it to. Get him. Get him. What? Oh my gosh, that has such a long range. <laughs> I gotta respect that. Oh my god. I really definitely let my, my team down, my teammate down there, man. I was not expecting that. This is a really good faith build, man. That's one thing about Elden Ring is like, 
this, everything's like so lethal, man. I'm just, I'm still getting used to it. Like everything's just super lethal. Um, let's go again. I did take a long break from the game to get some things in order. And I think that really helped me come back with a fresh mind. Because, you know, trying to play this game like Dark Souls 3, it was just crippling me. I mean, I, I still have some of the things that I've learned from that game in this game, of course. But playing it like that game was kind of doing me more harm than good. But yeah, so far, I mean, I, it's weird because in Dark Souls 3 and in Dark Souls 2, I didn't do much of the arena. I, I didn't really care too much for the arenas. Uh, I did a lot of invading, right? And that's how I got my PvP fix. That and like the duels, you know, Pontiff or the Iron Bridge. And that was fun for me. Uh, but in Elden Ring, it's the opposite for me. But in Arena, you know, I get the, I can get the team based thing going, you know, the 2v2 thing. I think that's really cool. It's probably my favorite mode. I don't really like 1v1s too much. Um, I like more like being on the team with somebody. And 3v3s are, are honestly just such a, they're like a clusterfuck, right? So 3v3s are like, oh, there's just, everything's happening. <laughs> it's like, it's like the end of the world is going on, man. It's like Ragnarok is slapping down on, on Elden Ring's arena in 3v3. You got, you got moons falling from the sky. Like it's Legend of Zelda. You got, you know, dragons being called down, like, you know, like Skyrim's, but 2v2s, it feels the most organized, if I want to say, even though there's like, there can be spammy uh, build. Overall, it's a great, I think overall the arena is a great experience. Uh, especially I think around level 200. For me, that's, that's kind of like the cutoff point. I'm not gonna go any higher. I'm not gonna go any lower for like this stuff. I think 200 would be fine. But yeah, so I'll leave my stats up on the screen for a little bit and I'll see you guys in the next video when I bring Zeus into the arena. Catch you later.